taking it slow this morning. My ankle is still acting up. So had this inner ankle pain for a while. And yesterday it just felt more intense. It was not just on the inner ankle part, but it was all around and I felt it right away this morning. And usually those things don't come back until like afternoon or towards the end of my day. So I am going to take it slow. And I'm also not sure about miles. So someone asked why I didn't stay at more shelters. And one of the reasons is, for example, like today, the first shelter is seven miles. So I'm not going to do that because I'll get there before lunch. But the next shelter is 20 miles. And I'm not going to do that either. So my opportunities for staying at shelters are sometimes very limited. Now there are a few campsites along the ridge. And so I will probably aim for one of those. But the water ends um, at mile nine, I think. So I will have to carry an additional four to six pounds of water to camp if I choose one of those campsites. So the logistics of the day are always a challenge. And today I'm just going to get to the first shelter, be a great place for lunch, you know, seven-ish miles in, which would be almost half my day if I'm aiming for 15, and uh, reassess. And that seems to work well. Uh, my over analytical calculating brain likes to make the decision way in advance, like the night before, and I just find it never works out that way. So I'm going to take it slowly, get to the first shelter, and then make my next decision. When you see a cooler along the trail, it's easy to get excited for trail magic potential. But this one is just full of trash. The smells in through here are amazing. I don't even know what it is. I like the sound of the train in the background and the birds. My pack is really heavy and I'm a bit nervous. So I've got 90-ish miles to go before there is a resupply potential, a town, anything. And so for those of you who have watched the video on my, my resupply shipments, you'll know that there are only about 2,500 calories a day and that I need to supplement. And so yesterday I went to the grocery store, but since I have to be careful of the processed foods, I was really limited on what I could add into my food supply for this next stretch. And I also had some leftovers, nuts and fruits and things like that, but I don't have calorie count on those things. So I'm kind of winging it. And I think I'm actually going shy of what I may need. Um, but I, my tendency is to carry more than I need. And right now with my ankle, I want to be careful. So there's always a last ditch effort. That's not the right word, but there's always a bailout if I were to run out of food. But I know that would be expensive and not easy. And so I'm really hoping that I've guessed right. And a lot of this is just a guess. Um, you know, at home I have my food scale and my app and everything I need, but when I resupply out here, I just guess as most hikers do. Looks like there's a cemetery, but the AT North goes this way. Sometimes you have to walk the highway. There's still beautiful things to see. It does get loud though. People have asked if the trail can be hard to follow. Sometimes. So the blaze is on the sidewalk. And if you look down, actually, I'll show you when I get there. You can start to see it now. The blaze shows that you make this turn. 
but sometimes it's not very well marked. This is actually really good. Show that you turn this way and go this way. And then there's a blaze over there. You see it? So now I just have to find the next blaze. So the next blaze is on this pole. And as you can see, there are two blazes, one on top of the other. And because the one on top is on the right hand side, it means the trail is going right. I think I see it up here. So hiker hunger is a, is a real thing. Just to give you an idea, last night I ate at nine before I went to bed. I had peanut butter and jelly and uh, that's all I had. But this morning I had my protein oatmeal which is like 300 calories, but it's got 20 grams of protein. I added a container of yogurt. I added a whole banana, a half a box of blueberries, and about a quarter cup of walnuts. Ate it all, and hour and a half later, I think, I'm hungry. So most of the time, I would love for you to be able to smell what I'm smelling, but I'm currently walking by a landfill. Oh my God. It stinks so bad. It smells, I don't know. I can't even describe it to you. I can't wait to get away from this. It's just horrible. The mountain laurel is blooming. It's been super rocky in sections today. And this morning has been all about climbing, which I knew, but I'm kind of tired of climbing. So I think I have maybe a mile, a little over a mile, mile and a half, something like that. Anyway, left to climb. And then it's gonna be a ridge line. And so you never know what that's gonna be. Uh, it could be some ups and downs, some roller coasters, but no major ups or downs. Coming up to what could be a view and also getting close to the shelter, I hope. <laughs> oh, no view really, but blue skies with some clouds, lots of tall grass. It says up and over, but I don't think I need to do that. I'm gonna check the map, make sure I'm going the right way. Cause I don't see any blazes. I'm definitely going the right way and the shelter should be up here pretty soon. I'm looking forward to lunch. I have had a hard time staying on top of my hunger today. And yesterday I got a mixed greens and spinach box and I pulled out all the spinach and I packed it out today so I can have it on my sandwich with half an avocado left over from the salad and some tuna, I think. It's either tuna or chicken. Oh, so this opens up to a meadow and then I think the shelter will be on the right. Right after um, the shelter and lunch, it started to sprinkle. It's been sprinkling most of the afternoon. Temperature dropped quite a bit and the wind has picked up. I heard that it's supposed to be like 40 tonight. So big water carry, about six pounds um, to the next camp site or so. I think there's three of them in a row. I'm not gonna go too far. Um, I'm ready to call it a day.
pretty amazing view. Still 0.3 miles to the campsite. It's taking forever to get there today. I think it's the water carry. I think it's the extra weight, but also the rocks are making a difference. They're wet and so slick. Um, I don't know, maybe it's, who, who, who knows? It just feels like a really long time. Once I get there, I'm gonna set up, get into some warm, dry clothes, and uh, make dinner and go to bed. See if I can catch up on some sleep tonight. Um, pretty close to 15 miles today. I'm in my hammock, it's early, but uh, it's cold. It's gonna be 40, I think, tonight. And so I'm all bundled up with my 10 degree um, top quilt. <laughs> and my puppy. I have my fleece on, I have my lightweight uh, summer Patagonia Capiline layer, and my darn tough wool socks, and my 30 degree underquilt. And uh, it's kind of not warm. I mean, it's warm, but it's not toasty. So I know that will change. I also have um, my smart wool gloves if I need them but uh, it's not gonna be a super warm night getting in and out of my hammock, um, but I hope I sleep well. I ultimately am happy with the day and will attempt another 15 tomorrow. I have 90-ish miles to Daleville, so I've got to average 15s. Good night. <laughs>